Hey everybody, Dennis here from Denny Bob's RC. Uh, I am working on a JD model 88. It's the 870K. Uh, many of you know it as that. Um, it's made by JD Models. Uh, what a nightmare they are to work on. I will say that for sure. <clears throat> the problem I'm running into is a buddy of mine here local. He bought it second or third hand. Um, he has not been able to get it worked properly yet. Um, one of the problems I myself am having is he's got it bound to a Spectrum, uh, what is it, uh, DX6E, and I know absolutely nothing about setup on those radios. Um, and I'll be honest with you, I don't want to learn. Uh, I'm a fly sky guy and i'll tell you what i can yes they have their limitations on some of them but they are so simple to program and and assign auxiliary channels and everything uh this spectrum you can have it um i'll never own one myself but it's an absolute nightmare i don't know who's been into this thing before but somebody has been and uh ugh. Ick. I'm just going to show you some of the nightmares I'm dealing with. Um, the one is it does have diff lock in a two-speed transfer case. It's got one servo that controls it all. I don't know if the guy has got this hooked up correctly or not. Um, what a pain. I just... Ugh. I'll take my XD loader over one of these any day. Give me the single speed. Um, I don't care about diff locks. Um, they're beasts. This thing is eh, not for me. Absolutely not. I'll never own one, I don't think. Um, if I did, I'd simplify it. I would actually hook a servo up and make it shift. I'd put two servos in. Maybe even completely eliminate the differential locks. But... Uh, Anyway, let's let's dig, in, dig into it a little bit. Since I really have no pattern or nothing to go to, um, I did uh, print off some assembly instructions to kind of help me um, off the website. But I'm still... Uh, I mean, yeah, all the plumbing and the receivers and all that stuff, but... I don't see anything in here. Yes, they show a picture of the transfer case and the differentials and stuff, but they really don't show any pictures on how the the one servo is supposed to shift this and then lock the diffs. It, it's just an absolute nightmare. Um, one thing, if all the cables are all frayed out and I've had to pull the pump out and pull this stuff out so I can actually get in here and work on stuff. Um, and now this wire here is running underneath the cab. I, I don't know what the hell it goes to. It looks like a speaker under the cab, but there is no speaker. There's no sound system in this thing. It was just, just hanging here, and I can't pull it out. I'm trying to figure out how to get the cab off so I can figure out where that goes. Uh, I found four screws from the bottom, but still don't want to come off. It's just one thing after another. Um, problem after problem. Uh, originally came to me because uh, he has a hydraulic leak. Well, it's puking hydraulic oil out of his um, hydraulic reservoir. Well, he's got it way over full for one. And the next thing is he had it hooked up to a switch and running all the time. Well, that, and if he's got it running full speed, my problem is I take the radio and I turn on every single switch. Well, I know this switch here does the transfer case and the diff locks, okay? This one here does forward and back, but it's reversed. It's the wrong direction. 
So I don't even know how to get into this radio to do a reverse. I can get into an i6 radio in like five seconds and put it reverse. Um, it just don't like Spectrum. Not my thing. Um, I dislike it immensely. Uh, that's going to be the plague on this whole thing. That's his radio. That's what he wants it to. Uh, I'm going to have to educate myself and kind of figure it out. But uh, I don't want to. I am an old dog and I don't want to learn any new tricks. Um, but I guess I'll have to. Uh, just a friend of mine I'm trying to, and he's like in no hurry. He says, as long as I get it before I die, I'm, he's like, okay. But uh, yeah. I mean, that cab's got to come off, so I, I, I want to get as much of the stuff taken off of here and out of the way so I can get all the mechanicals and the hydraulics and everything. This cab doesn't need to be here. There's no light kit on this thing. There's no sound kit on it. I just want to get stuff functioning. And I may end up hooking all this stuff up to a Fly Sky receiver and one of my radios so I can get everything to work and then tell him here you go you figure out how you got to pick it up um, and give him his radio and receiver back but uh, or I'll just give him a damn radio and say here you fig it works now <laughs> that's because I just like to help the guy out but uh, yeah it's a nightmare in here I mean yeah you can take a bunch of things there's a bunch of hoses that are shitty and I just need to take it completely apart. Get the serv the servo was mounted in here willy nilly. There is supposed to be a, a certain bracket, and that wasn't hooked up right. <sighs> this has been a total nightmare. Sometimes you you take on a project and you just wonder, what the hell was I thinking? Really, seriously. <laughs> ah. I'll get it. It's just a matter of, uh, well, just a matter of uh, just getting, I want to get down to the basics. Get this cab off, get it out of the way. I'll probably, I might take the fenders off. Just totally strip it down so that I can run new hoses and get everything. Because somebody's been in here because these aren't the all the original servos. Um... You buy something second or third hand, you just never know what's been done to it. And I think I can take, I don't know, I'm not, <laughs> I'm just frustrated. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't really a, it's not an educational video on how to take it apart or nothing. I'm just, I bought a basket case, so to speak, Pete, I didn't buy it. He bought a basket case, so to speak, and we're trying to get it up and running. And, uh, you know, if anybody's got any links to some videos here on YouTube as well, um, you know, I'm going to do some searching myself and see if anybody else has been in one of these and kind of done any demonstration. But I don't think anybody has. So um, as I get further on into the process, maybe I'll cover a few things like trying to get the cables routed i've got a bunch of cable and and housings and stuff here so i can make him new cables because the ends are all frayed out and junk and it's just going to be easier just to start over i think so but anyway i just coming in here kind of showing one of my projects that i'm working on and uh i don't know why i even decided to tackle it but uh here i go so Catch you guys later.